Chapter 20 The Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Assign the cities of refuge, whereof I spoke to you by Moses, that the manslayer who kills any person unwittingly and unaware may flee there and they shall be to you for a refuge from the avenger of blood. He shall flee to one of those cities, and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city, and declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, and they shall take him into the city to them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. If the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver up the manslayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unaware, and didn't hate him before. He shall dwell in that city, until he stand before the congregation for judgment, until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days, then shall the manslayer return, and come to his own city, and to his own house, to the city from whence he fled. They set apart Kadesh and Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, the same as Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. Beyond the Jordan at Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness, in the plain out of the tribes of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the appointed cities for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger who sojourns among them, that whoever kills any person unwittingly might flee there, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Chapter 21 Then came near the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites, to Eleazar the priest, and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spoke to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the suburbs of it for our cattle. The children of Israel gave to the Levites out of their inheritance, according to the commandment of the Lord these cities with their suburbs. The lot came out for the families of the Kohathites, and the children of Aaron the priest, who were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of the Simeonites, and out of the tribe of Benjamin thirteen cities. The rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh ten cities. The children of Gershon had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribes of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh and Bashan, thirteen cities. The children of Merari, according to their families, had out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. The children of Israel gave by lot to the Levites these cities with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by Moses. They gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities which are here mentioned by name. And they were for the children of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, who were of the children of Levi, for theirs was the first lot. They gave them Kiriath Arba, which Arba was the father of Anak, the same as Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, with the suburbs of it round about it. But the fields of the city and the villages of it gave they to Caleb the son of Jephunneh for his possession. To the children of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron with its suburbs, the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Libna with its suburbs, and Jatir with its suburbs, and Eshtemoah with its suburbs, and Holon with its suburbs, and Debir with its suburbs, and Ain with its suburbs, and Jutah with its suburbs, and Beshemesh with its suburbs, nine cities out of those two tribes. Out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its suburbs, Geba with its suburbs, Anathoth with its suburbs, and Almon with its suburbs, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron the priest were thirteen cities with their suburbs. The families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, even the rest of the children of Kohath, they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim. They gave them Shechem with its suburbs in the hill country of Ephraim the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Gezer with its suburbs, 
and Gibzaim with its suburbs, and Beth Haron with its suburbs, four cities. Out of the tribe of Dan, Elteke with its suburbs, Gibbethon with its suburbs, Ajalon with its suburbs, Gathramon with its suburbs, four cities. Out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with its suburbs, and Gathrimon with its suburbs, two cities. All the cities of the families of the rest of the children of Kohath were ten with their suburbs. To the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan in Bashan with its suburbs, the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Beshterah with its suburbs, two cities. Out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishion with its suburbs, Dabaroth with its suburbs, Jarmuth with its suburbs, Inganim with its suburbs, four cities. Out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its suburbs, Abdon with its suburbs, Helkath with its suburbs, and Rehob with its suburbs, four cities. Out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and Galilee with its suburbs, the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Hamothdor with its suburbs, and Kartan with its suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their suburbs. To the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulon, Jokniam with its suburbs, and Karta with its suburbs, Dimna with its suburbs, Nahalal with its suburbs, four cities. Out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its suburbs, and Jehaz with its suburbs, Gedamoth with its suburbs, and Maphath with its suburbs, four cities. Out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with its suburbs, the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Mahanaim with its suburbs, Heshbon with its suburbs, Jazer with its suburbs, four cities in all. All these were the cities of the children of Merari according to their families, even the rest of the families of the Levites, and their lot was twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites in the midst of the possession of the children of Israel were forty-eight cities with their suburbs. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them, thus it was with all these cities. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land which he swore to give to their fathers, and they possessed it and lived therein. The Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he swore to their fathers, and there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There failed not anything of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. The Book of Acts The first book I wrote, Theophilus, concerned all that Jesus began both to do and to teach until the day in which he was received up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also showed himself alive after he suffered by many proofs, appearing to them over a period of forty days and speaking about God's kingdom. Being assembled together with them, he charged them, Don't depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father which you heard from me. For John indeed baptized in water, but you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, are you now restoring the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It isn't for you to know times or seasons which the Father has set within his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You will be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. When he had said these things, as they were looking, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. While they were looking steadfastly into the sky as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white clothing, who also said, You men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This Jesus, who was received up from you into the sky, will come back in the same way as you saw him going into the sky. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mountain called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had come in, they went up into the upper room where they were staying, that is, Peter, John, James, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas the son of James. 
All these with one accord continued steadfastly in prayer and supplication, along with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. In these days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples, and the number of names was about one hundred twenty, and said, Brothers, it was necessary that this scripture should be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was guide to those who took Jesus. For he was numbered with us, and received his portion in this ministry. Now this man obtained a field with the reward for his wickedness, and falling headlong, his body burst open, and all his intestines gushed out. It became known to everyone who lived in Jerusalem that in their language that field was called a seldoma, that is, the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his habitation be made desolate, let no one dwell therein, and let another take his office. Of the men, therefore, who have accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to the day that he was received up from us, of these one must become a witness with us of his resurrection. They put forward, too, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice, and Matthias. They prayed and said, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all men, show which one of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas fell away, that he might go to his own place. They drew lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Chapter 10 Hear the word which the Lord speaks to you, house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, Don't learn the way of the nations, and don't be dismayed at the signs of the sky, for the nations are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are vanity. For one cuts a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it not move. They are like a palm tree, of turned work and don't speak. They must be carried because they can't go. Don't be afraid of them, for they can't do evil, neither is it in them to do good. There is none like you, O Lord, for you are great, and your name is great in might. Who should not fear you, King of the nations? For to you does it belong, because among all the wise men of the nations, and in all their royal estate there is none like you. But they are together brutish and foolish, the instruction of idols. It is but a stock. There is silver beaten into plates, which is brought from Tarshish, and gold from Uphaz, the work of the artificer, and of the hands of the goldsmith, blue and purple for their clothing, they are all the work of skillful men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting King. At His wrath the earth trembles, and the nations are not able to abide His indignation. Thus shall you say to them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, these shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. He has made the earth by His power, he has established the world by his wisdom, and by his understanding has he stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain. Every man is become brutish and is without knowledge. Every goldsmith is disappointed by his engraved image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, a work of delusion, in the time of their visitation they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like these, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up your wares out of the land, you who abide in the siege. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will sling out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and will distress them that they may feel it. Woe is me because of my hurt! My wound is grievous, but I said, Truly this is my grief, and I must bear it. My tent is destroyed, and all my cords are broken. My children are gone forth from me, and they are no more. There is none to spread my tent any more, and to set up my curtains. For the shepherds are become brutish, and have not inquired of the Lord. 
Therefore they have not prospered, and all their flocks are scattered. The voice of news, behold, it comes, and a great commotion out of the north country, to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a dwelling place of jackals. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. O Lord, correct me, but in measure, not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Pour out your wrath on the nations that don't know you, and on the families that don't call on your name, for they have devoured Jacob, yes, they have devoured him, and consumed him, and have laid waste his habitation. Jesus went out from the temple, and he was going on his way. His disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, Don't you see all of these things? Most assuredly, I tell you, there will not be left here one stone on another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? What is the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered them, be careful that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will lead many astray. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you aren't troubled, for all this must happen, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, plagues, and earthquakes in various places. But all these things are the beginning of birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to oppression and will kill you. You will be hated by all of the nations for my name's sake. Then many will stumble, and will deliver up one another, and will hate one another. Many false prophets will arise, and will lead many astray. Because iniquity will be multiplied, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end, the same will be saved. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world for a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. When therefore you see the abomination of desolation, which was spoken of through Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take out things that are in his house. Let him who is in the field not return back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are with child and to nursing mothers in those days. Pray that your flight will not be in the winter, nor on a Sabbath. For then there will be great oppression, such as not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, nor ever will be. Unless those days had been shortened, no flesh would have been saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Then if any man tells you, Behold, here is the Christ, or there, don't believe it. For there will arise false Christ and false prophets, and they will show great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray if possible even the elect. Behold, I have told you beforehand. If therefore they tell you, Behold, he is in the wilderness, don't go out. Behold, he is in the inner chambers, don't believe it. For as the lightning comes forth from the east, and is seen even to the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For wherever the carcass is, there will the vultures be gathered together. But immediately after the oppression of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. Then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. He will send out His angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together His elect from the four winds, from one end of the sky to the other. Now from the fig tree learn this parable. When its branch has now become tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that the summer is near. Even so you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Most assuredly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things are accomplished. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But no one knows of that day and hour, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. As the days of Noah were, 
so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days which were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and they didn't know until the flood came and took them all away, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one will be left. Watch therefore, for you don't know in what hour your Lord comes. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what watch of the night the thief was coming, he would have watched and would have not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore also be ready, for in an hour that you don't expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord has set over his household, to give them their food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord finds doing so when he comes. Most assuredly I tell you that he will set him over all that he has. But if that evil servant should say in his heart, My Lord is delaying his coming, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he doesn't expect it, and in an hour when he doesn't know it, and will cut him in pieces, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There is where the weeping and grinding of teeth will be.